It's preposterous what Camilla just did. Preposterous and highly, highly disrespectful to Maori people, to her Maori subjects. My family, allow me to just say this, please. First of all, in a few months from now, in May the 6th, Camilla will be officially crowned as the queen, Queen Camilla. And we all know the tainted history of the royal family, the role they played in slave trade, the theft of land from indigenous people. That is what the royal family did. They have a tainted, tainted history. The least you can do as a member of the royal family when Maori singers, whom you call your subjects, as you all know, Charles is the head of state in Canada, in New Zealand, in Australia. The least you can do as a spouse to the head of state, to the current reigning monarch, as the queen, because you've always desired to be called that, the least you can do is show even just an ounce, an ounce of respect for your subjects. Camilla, is that too much to ask? When your Maori subjects are singing for you, dancing for you, have taken their time just to come there and dance for you, you know, during your Commonwealth service at Westminster Abbey, where Charles was booed, the least that Camilla could have done, it's take a moment, stand there, and show respect to the Maori people. But Camilla did not do that. Camilla staggered past her Maori subjects who are there to sing for them. My family. My family, I want you to look at this, please. On top of this, my family, Camilla also showed an enormous level of disrespect to what we call royal protocols. Well, the king must be the one who walks first into Westminster Abbey. Even that, Camilla did not follow. Even that, Camilla did not show any respect to what we call royal protocol. My family, please just look at this. Camilla only cared about her, her blue hat. That's all she cared about. Instead of her subjects. This is not the work of someone who is the queen. Who is going to be officially coronated as queen on May. My family, please just look at this once and for all, please. My family. Charles enters the Commonwealth Day service. And there's Camilla. Maori dancers are dancing for them. Camilla doesn't even take a moment to stand over there and just watch and pay respect to Maori culture, the Maori culture, who are there to perform for them, who are there to perform for them at the Commonwealth service. Camilla just walks past them. The utter level of disrespect from Camilla is just too much. Too much. Too much. At least Charles.
stood there for a minute to watch as the Maori people performed before they entered Westminster Abbey as the public were booing Charles and Camilla and Kate and William with chants of not my king to Charles and tell, telling William that you won't ever be our king my family look at Camilla look at her just leave instead of showing respect to the Maori people she left and she also broke raw protocol it's too too disrespectful highly highly disrespectful and my family people online are not pleased the maori people are also not pleased allow me to read some comments on this my family people are not happy about the enormous level of disrespect shown by queen camilla to her maori subjects my family hear this please now someone say that queen camilla completely disrespected her maori subjects queen elizabeth would never let some wind stop her from showing respect to the cultures of the diverse commonwealth realms camilla is unfit for queendom my family and everybody sees it my family someone also said that a heart camilla's heart was of utmost priority to camilla as opposed to the group of people giving her showing her and charles their respects who have taken the time to come there and perform for people who stole their land my family so so disrespectful now maria in response to this video that, that i just showed you right now that i just showed you right now say this and i quote hashtag camilla parker bowles continues to show her true self she has learned nothing from her mockery of the canadian native dancers those maoris dancers were performing in the cold at least camilla could have held onto her heart for a moment and just shown some class i would add she also could have simply respected raw protocol and stood there by the side of the queen of the king king charles but camilla did not do that and you know what because of her deals with the press you won't ever see or hear anyone calling her out for this however we will my family we will my family now someone said that not my queen and not my king that was so disrespectful by camilla who does she think she is she thinks the maori was there for decor just to be outside leaving charles to greet them alone again camilla is showing just how disrespectful she is to the commonwealth at church they want the job but don't want to do the job and that is what we see from camilla parker bowles it is who she is someone called anastasia 
said that they are standing barefoot on the cold ground to dance for them. And Camilla cared more about her hat. It's disgusting and just hugely so, so very much shameful. My family, someone said that I noticed that Camilla just walked away. This is not the behavior of a true royal. Never mind the queen. She is no queen, just a mistress. Someone said that someone said that she doesn't care about them. Camilla does not care about them. Camilla only cares about reigning over them. It is the title that Camilla loves, not what it's supposed to represent. Someone said that indeed. I don't see one bit that Camilla or Charles even care about their subjects, especially if it is indigenous people. I don't see it one bit. They only care about ruling over them, having power over them. It's the story of the royal family. It is the story of the monarchy. My family. Now someone else said this, that this is so, so disrespectful of Camilla. To ignore the Maoris on Commonwealth Day is just so, so rude. Camilla has disrespected the cultures of the diverse Commonwealth realms. Camilla is completely unfit to be a queen. She's always been unfit. My family, we have seen just how wicked Camilla truly is. Camilla's part in the hounding of Harry and Meghan out of the UK. My family, Prince Harry said that Camilla, because of the deals that she made with the press, because of the relationships that she forged with the carnival of so-called experts, the tabloids, the editors of various tabloids, Camilla sacrificed Prince Harry for her to get a personal PR, for her to be able to rehabilitate her own image at the expense of the son of the woman Camilla has always hated and loathed the late Diana, the late Princess Diana. My family, that's what Camilla clearly shows the entire world, just how cruel she is, my family, and her cruelty towards Diana is being shown by how she goes after Diana's son and also the late Diana's son's wife, Megan, my family. It's disgusting. I recall how the tabloids were saying Camilla mocks Megan for crumbling her baby bum. I tell you, Prince Harry held back. He held back so, so much on this person. And everyone knows that what Harry said about Camilla is nothing but the truth. My family, we have seen how members of the royal family, like Charles and Camilla, even hire the deputy editor of the Daily Mail to work for them, for them to get good press. For them to carry favor with the daily fail. We've seen that. We have also seen Harry. My family, Harry himself. Showing his pain. At the role played by the tabloid Daily Mail. In the loss of he and Megan's unborn child. 
We saw that Harry blames Daily Fail because of the enormous stress they put Megan through while she was pregnant. My family. And then we have Charles. Someone who calls Harry, my darling boy, my darling boy, work with the same tabloids that go after his son and his son's wife. And Charles, who never did anything to defend his own wife, the late Diana, the mother of his kids, is the one even hating on Harry because Harry has dared to stand up for his wife. Stand up against the powerful UK tabloid media just to protect his wife, Megan. My family. Charles is the failed father while Harry is truly the husband, the amazing husband that Diana never ever had. My family, and seeing what has unfolded about Camilla's plot to become queen, to take Diana's place. Camilla, you may be called the queen right now and even in May 6th. But one thing is clear, you Camilla shall never ever be the queen of people's hearts in the manner or way that Diana was to the public. How the public thought about Diana. Camilla, they will never ever feel the same same way about you. My family. And I say this about Charles. One day he'll wake up and see the role Camilla has played in Charles losing his own son. And when Charles wakes up, it will be too late. It will be too late. My family. My family. Someone called Jessica said that, oh boy, come on Camilla, poor them. How many hours of practice for sure they put in to perform for the royal family? And the queen just walks away. My family, once again, it is so, so rude of Camilla. So, so rude of Camilla. Just walk away. So, so rude. Stand, please, Camilla. Just wait. Wait. Just wait. Disappointing. You know what? At least Charles took a couple of minutes just to say, just to look at them perform. Just to look at them perform. Just even a minute. Well, Camilla walked away and also broke role protocol. My family, it is disgusting. Highly, highly disgusting. Someone said that Camilla is just so, so rude my family someone said that now that's so so unfortunate Camilla couldn't just stop even for a moment to just acknowledge them the work that they put in for this moment I can't help but think how Diana would have embraced this moment or even Harry and Meghan and Camilla wants that queen title, my family. You know what? As I said, Camilla may be called the queen, but she'll never ever have the hearts, the affection of people. Make no mistake about that. Now, someone that Camilla has never had any respect 
for anyone but herself and her kids and grandkids and Charles. And only because she wanted to get exactly what she has gotten. To be called queen. What a travesty that is. Indeed, what a travesty. What a travesty. Now, my family, someone called Nanibu, say that Camilla should have stayed put and hold down, held down the hat or just take it off as a mark of respect for the Maori people. Camilla should not have just walked off. It was a classless move. Those people stayed in the wind to entertain her and her husband. My family, people online are calling out Camilla for her enormous level of disrespect towards the Maori people. My family, it is just disgusting how they treat their own subjects. And my family, I told you this once before, and I'll say it again. If Charles can't even be a good father towards his own son, what do you think you know, he'll be towards his own people? Without Camilla, Charles treat Harry and Meghan. Members whom they call much-loved members. Much love to Harry and Meghan. That's what they always issue in their statements, full of nothing. Much love to Harry and Meghan. They always say that time and time again. But when it comes to show that love, they always come up short. Or my family, I think it's better to say they just don't show it. My family, they just don't show it. And my family, now look at how Camilla treats her own subjects. People that my family, their whole family, in history, took part in the theft of their lands. It is just so, so, so disgusting. It is just... So, so disgusting how poorly the royal family treats people, its own subjects, my family. Now, my family, someone said that this is why the monarchy should be abolished. It's embarrassing. And then they wonder why they're so, so unpopular. Queen Elizabeth II would never have behaved like this. Watch their media sycophants run a negative Harry and Meghan story to try and change the narrative. My family, whenever a member of the royal family, like Camilla, Charles, William, or Kate Milton, experiences any backlash whatsoever, the royal family leaks her story about Harry and Meghan to reflect. My family, people have noticed. People continue to open their eyes. Now, someone said that all rules are applied only to Megan. This Kate and Camilla woman ran ahead of their husbands so many times I have seen now. Yet you won't ever hear even a single tablet. You won't have TV shows in the morning, in the afternoon, in the evening abusing them for breaking Protocol. You won't ever see that one bit. Rules were only applied to Meghan Markle, the mixed race black woman. 
who fell in love with the white prince, my family. That is clear as night and day. My family, someone called Dr. K. Mackenzie, say that Camilla also walked ahead of the king. Very, very disrespectful. Camilla should have known better. My family. People can see it. People are noticing my family. Someone says, this is so awful. And I'll never ever forget one thing. That Camilla wined and dined, had parties where she invited Piers Morgan and Jeremy Clarkson, people who abuse Meghan Markle and Prince Harry for sport, for their amusement, for their entertainment. My family, to showcase their bigotry and their hatefulness over the fact that Harry and Meghan love each other to attend Camilla's party. The Queen Consort's party. People who abuse Meghan and Harry. Their likes of Piers Morgan and Jeremy Clarkson. Who wrote that vile, vile column about Meghan Markle. Basically inciting violence against Meghan Markle. Never ever forget that. It's disgusting really. It's disgusting and just so, so shameful. My family, disgusting and just so, so shameful, my family. And people can see it, my family. People can see, see it. Yet someone says, how dare Harry and Meghan tell the story? Yet you have Camilla having a party with people who abuse Meghan and Harry. But no one ever asked the question, why is Camilla having dinner or a party? With people who abuse her stepson or her stepson's wife. No one asks that question. Well, I guess because it isn't convenient to ask that question. My family, someone said that that was rude. Camilla has no respect for anyone. It's all about what pleases her. It's true. It is all about what pleases Camilla herself. My family, Camilla doesn't care about anyone else other than herself and Charles because he needed Charles, she needed Charles to use to get the throne. Camilla needed Charles to be called, you know, queen, to get to be called queen. My family. My family, someone that and Charles will always choose Camilla. So people must leave Harry alone. For also choosing his wife. My family, first of all, we can't compare Camilla and Charles to Harry and Meghan. Why is that? You can't compare with someone, you know, Harry and Meghan, someone who was a third woman in the marriage. You just, you, you can't. You can't. It's insulting to try to compare Meghan and Camilla. It's, it's insulting. You can't compare a woman who was referred by Harry's mom, late mom, as the third woman, you know, the third person in the marriage. So it was a bit carried. You can't compare that to Meghan Markle. You can't. You just can't. When Meghan joined the royal family, no one accused her of anything. No insults, no attacks, no hate campaign, no smear campaign. But when she did join the royal family, the tabloids and the farm conspired to ruin her life, to destroy her relationship with Harry, to ruin this interracial marriage between this powerful couple. My family, they even asked for Harry to choose. They even demanded, told Meghan Markle in articles, Meghan, don't Make Harry choose between you or us. The level of derangement that we saw from the tabloid media was too much. Too much. And guess what? When Harry chose his wife, when Harry chose to flee a toxic place, 
they blamed a woman that they were abusing. You know, had his wife Megan. They dubbed the move Megxit. My family, that's what they called the move. And we all know what it was about. Megan's race. And they were angry because they failed to destroy Harry and Megan's relationship. That Harry chose his wife and son and not the tabloids that chased his mother to her death. You know, I heard someone that, you know, it was paparazzi that chased Diana to her death. Diana to her death. It's true, yes, it's true. And then that person say that it wasn't even, you know, British paparazzi. It was paparazzi from a different country, from France. You know what? That also we can say is true. But the fact is, you must ask yourself a question. Where did those photos of Diana laying at the back of her car, dying, as Harry said himself, where did those photos end up? It ended up on the front desks of the UK tabloid press. On their desks. Because that is where the market for those photos were. That is where the demand for photos of Diana and the person that she was dating at the time, Dodi fired. That's where the photos were needed back in the UK by UK tabloids. So my family, of course, no wonder Harry blames the press. They were the ones with the money. They were the ones paying for those photos. My family. And it ended up with the death of Harry's mom. And Harry will always blame, rightfully, the tabloids for the passing of his mama. Of his mama. Because they were involved. Make no mistake about that. My family. Now my family, it is disappointing to see what Camilla has done. And very, very much rude. And just low, low class from Camilla Parker Bowles. You have one job. Show respect for your subjects. And Camilla can't even do that. Just stand, Camilla. Stand. Show respect to your subjects. Respect no protocol. She won't even do that. My family, the Maori culture and people are very, very good people. My family. They took their time to perform for the royals. But sadly, Camilla Parker Bowles, Camilla was so, so disrespectful to the Maori people. A huge, huge shame. My family. It's clear to me that some members of the royal family, Camilla, in particular, has no respect whatsoever for the indigenous community. My family, it's a shame. And so, so disgusting, rude, and disrespectful. Disrespectful. My family, tell me what you think about Camilla's moves there. And what Camilla did to the Maori people. It's just so, 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 so shameless. So, so shameless, my family. Hate never wins. Love wins, my family. With that and so much more, stay tuned for our next video. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and support our ever-growing family on YouTube. When the royal family lost Harry and Meghan by their own doing, 
clearly. They lost two people who could have saved the Commonwealth. And my family, it's a shame. Really, it's a shame. Harry and Meghan could have saved the royal family's connection with the Commonwealth. But due to their actions, my family, we can see the mask slip. The royal family, Camilla, clearly does not care about the indigenous people from which the royal family participated in the loss of the land. My family, hate never wins, love wins. All of us, let us pursue love, not hate, because love turns over hate, my family. And let us keep calling out the royal family, and tablet, because no one else will call off Camilla for breaking the protocol. We must do that. Stay tuned to our next video. Love you always and forever. Hello, members of Zesco Family TV. First of all, I want to say thank you for all your support that you give us to our channel. We don't take it for granted that you support this channel. I want to say thank you from the bottom of our hearts for lending out your support and fighting against injustices, supporting Prince Harry and Meghan, showing them love. Love will always triumph over evil, and for that I say thank you. Good will always prevail over bad. Thank you so much for all your support. Thank you so much for joining this community, this amazing community of Zesco Family TV. I love you so much, family, from the bottom of my heart, and I wish you all the best. May you have a great, great day, and I hope that you enjoyed this video and learned a lot, a lot of things. With that and so much more, stay tuned to our next video. Leave a comment below, like, and subscribe. Love you, family, always and forever. Sayonara.